What's good, Council of Comics? It's new comic book day, episode 94. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Good Council of Comics, it's New Comic Book Day, episode number 94, six away from the big 100. We got a lot to go over today, a lot of new segments, but we're coming to you live. Let's go. Black is like the brightest day. Where are the heroes? Soon as they get here, everything will be all right. I need a hero. Welcome to New Comic Book Day Live, episode number 94. We're switching things up. We're six away from the big 100. Now you get to interact with us as we do it. So we're going to see how this goes. Um, as usual, shout out, shout out to everybody out there that's tuned in today. If you are not like to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button. And as usual, the loyal council at tier tonight, Cliff, Phil, C. Bizzle, how are you? Excellent. Well, yeah, yeah, very well. Excellent, excellent. This is a new thing that we're doing, guys, and I'm glad that people are tuning in. It's gonna be a lot of, lots of fun. But first, I gotta do the shout outs. Like, uh, not every shout out that we did before, but good job. Alternative X, this is our home away from home. It's from our good friend Anthony up in 870 Pilot Avenue, Hyde Park, New York. Uh, they have the biggest uh, comic book collection in Hudson Valley. They do comics, cards, toys. Uh, if you want to sort of pull this, Anthony, and get 10% off your book, you can give them a call at 845 4234. Email alternaverse2 at aol.com. The website is alternaverse.net. And they have a special uh, event going on at Alternaverse. And here is Anthony to tell you all about it. Doing a, a convention here at the shop. It's on May 4th. It's going to correspond with Free Comic Book Day. Um, we'll have uh, some guest artists and some guest vendors. We're going to set tents outside for the extra space. Um, and uh, I just wanted to show off. Here's a piece of work that uh, one of the guest artists is going to be here that day. This is Ryan Brown. And it's his cover for The Last Ronin, The Lost Years, number one. And this was an exclusive from these three retailers. And then we have Murder Hobo, which is Ryan is the interior artist on this book. And they're going to be doing a Kickstarter for this book soon. Um, and this is Murder Hobo Chaotic Neutral, number one, that came out back in 2021. And the back is a picture by Ryan. So yeah, CGC Signature Series 9.8. And uh, I mean, Ryan's done probably well over 100 covers at this point, and I'm sure he'll have a ton of them. CGC Signature Series remarked the whole bit. If you want to get a book remarked that you have, I'd say, come on out May 4th. We'll see you then. And Anthony, also, we want to show this here is the flyer. Want to set up, sorry about that. Alternacon 3 happens Saturday, May 4th. Chat thing out here. Uh, they got a ton of people in the house. They got artist, artist Ryan Gary Brown's in the house. Christian uh, St. Pierre is in the house. John Ryan Studio is going to be there. Our very own Steve Desario is going to be there. Our very own green shirt guy, Ronaldo, is going to be there. Jeremy Khan, the Snot family, ECP Apparel, Big Peach Pop, Crafty Shortcake, Static Rabbit Inc. Shout out to Static Rabbit Inc. Crafts by v, uh, BD. Jordan Tammy plays Pearl Scouts of the Harlem Valley, AKP Collectibles. Face painting with Sativa's Creative Creations. Hudson Valley's Cars Roller Derby, Lind Earth, and more. That's this Saturday, May 4th, May the 4th, from 12 to 5 at Alternaverse in Hyde Park. Council of Commons YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button right now. We're at 827 on our March to 1000. 
We got tons of videos coming out. We're gonna be doing more lives, but we just added one more live. We're three times live a week. We do film and box office news on Sundays, and we do our new keys and hot comics of the week with our great giveaway on Monday. So make sure you are like and subscribe to the channel. We also have Cliff on comics for 676 subscribers on his way to a thousand. Cliff does a ton of ton of amazing things. Cliff, give him a quick little telling of it. So I've got my unboxings, mail polls, uh, my trivia show, which now I've knocked it down to once a month. So I'm going to try and have one the last Wednesday or last Thursday of this month. We'll see. Um, and that's Cliff's Crisis Fest. And of course, now I started Cliff's Comic Curation, where if you're like me, I take a look at all the crazy information that we get in a week and sit there and go, well, of course Wolverine's you know, Wolverine number one is a good investment, but why do I want this Earth X book? It's garbage, and I just talk you through it. And then, of course, you know, I could be wrong and buy what you want, but I try to help, help you steer clear of hazards. Excellent, excellent. Please subscribe to Cliff on Comics. We also have Couch in the Slouching with C. Bizzle. He's at 372 on his March to 5 and 1,000. C. Bizzle, what's your channel going on? So right now, what's going on my channel is a lot of mail haul, uh, a lot of stuff I get from Walmart. Uh, from Target, things of uh, stores like that. Um, there's gonna be a couple of changes. Um, I got a 200 and a 300 subscriber giveaway coming up soon. More information will be coming very, very soon. Excellent, excellent. Please subscribe to Couching and Slouching with C. Bizzle. All right, new comic book day, and it's live. So, all right, we're, we're in the shop. We gotta act like we're in the shop. So, so I, 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 I I gotta do something here to make it look like we're in the shop. So here, here's some some hero. Look at Steve. Steve is the heart, man. He's just after crazy. <laughs> A wonderful alternatives in Hyde Park. Shout out to Big Paul, the analyzer. That's what's up. All right, that's some B-roll right there, right? All right. So before we get into our picks, guys, we're going to do our picks. But first, before we do the picks, I got something new. You ready? All right. It's time for a super battle. Choose wisely. Choose wisely, my friend. We're going to put our own council members to the contest of champions. And the first up, well, first, before I tell you who I picked first, this is what's going to happen. We're going to get two contestants. They're each going to pick a hero. And neither one knows who's going to go first. So I'm sure the second one's going to have a little bit of advantage going afterward. But you, the people, the viewers, get to pick who wins. And after we do our pick segment, we'll count up how many hashtags for each hero. And you guys pick who wins one for you right and another thing there's going to be a secret hashtag that goes into the comments at some point in this video and i've got a prize giveaway that i'm going to add on to like we do with monday but i'll show you that a little bit later that's going to be a secret hashtag for those of you in the chat in the comments and you see it if you put it in there you'll be entered in the stream yard drawing at the end of the thing all right super battle cliff c pizzle Cliff, pick either one or two. Two. Oh, you won. You get to go first, Cliff. Who is going to be the hero that you pick? Pay attention out there, Council of Comics, because you're going to see, you're going to uh, make who wins this. The Squadron Supremes, Dr. Spectrum. Ho, 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 ho. Wait a minute. See, Bizzle, you hear that, right? Yeah, I heard it. Hashtag the to... What do you say? What else did you say about that? He's what? from the Squadron Supreme. Who? Dr. Dr. Spectrum. Spectrum. Oh, Dr. Spectrum. Okay. Give you a couple seconds there, Steve Bizzle. Do you have an answer? Give me one second, one second. 
All right, while he's doing that, I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to work on this thing over there. I wonder if, I hope you guys out there have gotten your new book. I hope you're not researching Dr. Spectrum. Huh? I hope yeah, don't, don't cheat here, C. Bizzle. No, we don't I'm want no cheating. I'm just looking at my table. There's nothing. My phone is over there. Yeah, my phone is over there. All right, five, 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 five four, three, two, one. Who is your choice? I'm about to go with. Oh, Monica Rambeau. Ooh, Monica Rambeau. Full time. R A R A M B E A U, right? Yeah. All right. Had to find someone. Doctor Spectrum versus Monica Rambeau, and I'm gonna make this ticker. Put it in the comments below. Put in the comments, Dr. Spectrum versus Monica Rambo out there, cancel. Who do you think is going to win this? Uh, let's see who's in the chat real quick. Oscar says 1971. Thank you for joining us. J. Mark Golis is in the house. Thank you. Phil's Treehouse is in the house. Thank you for joining us. Uh, DeLeo. Oh, DeLeo. Dale of Suspense. Thank you for joining us. Aggressively relaxing. How you doing? Thank you for joining us. Uh, da, 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 da. Big L, Larry Jackson's in the house. Thank you for joining us. K pop junkies in the house. Thank you for joining us. Dr. Von Hoots comics from the spiral dimension. Thank you for joining us. Evening to you as well. Canadian survivalist. Thank you for joining us. Da, 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 Tate Prime is in the house. Thank you for joining us. Phil, I'm gonna ask you to uh tally up those hashtags for those superheroes if you could. Uh, th- th- while they're coming in there, uh, th- 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 I missed anybody. Edwin Pavone is in the house. Thank you for joining. And he made it. All right. So now we're going to go into picks. Cliff, you are first up, my friend. Oh, for this week? Yes. It's time for Cliff's Corner, everybody. Welcome to Cliff's Corner. I'm Cliff, and I'm saying, bye, what I tell you. So, I picked up part two of the Brainiac, House of Brainiac saga, which takes place in Superman 13. Superman goes and tracks down Lobo, and that's delightful. I found my legacy Nightwing 300 that I really wanted, my Dan (laughs) Mora cover in all of its glory, all of it. Very nice. All right. Some foil epicness, Crisis on Infinite Earths. The facsimiles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The incredible, the spectacular, the astounding, the why can't you get talent together to do something groundbreaking more often? Avengers Twilight number four. Oh, that's one of the two books I didn't read this week. Amazing. Uh, I can't wait to read it. And on the fun side of things, World's Finest number 26. It's just filled with filled with fifth dimension imps. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Now, I found someone on Instagram talking smack to me about how Miles still kind of sucks and doesn't have his own rogues gallery. And I tried to defend Miles, and I was like, yo, we got rabble. It's like turning into a thing. And he straight up told me, please, you don't know. And I rabble was like, on him went at it. This is you. Oh, he went at it. And this was in the DMs. Oh, I felt so attacked. But I went for Miles Morales. And I love Miles so much that I made sure I picked up Spectacular Spider Man number two. Another great pick. Another yes. great pick. And because I love the Spider family so much, because they're all doing better than Peter, I picked up Spider Boy number six. And last but not least, because I can't release. Wait a second, I feel something's missing. Oh no, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, no. All right, not last. Ultimate Black Panther. Oh, very nice. With the full reveal of Storm. And now, now, last but not least, the foil Superman number thirteen. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That is gorgeous. And I love, I love linking covers. I love it. Now, of course, you know what? We're going to do this last one just for Seabizzle. 
just for C Bizzle. Hot off of the DJ Links, whatnot. Power <laughs> Trains Omega number one. Oh, very nice. That I that I sniped for twenty six dollars. Wow, sniper! Oh, so nice. Bizzle was asleep at the wheel, <laughs> thinking he could trust. He could trust people. To quote Phil, you got sniped. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Cody Ziegler's story, Pablo Siqueira cover, which is really what it's all Very about. Very nice. Very nice. Thank it's you, right. There'll be another day. There will be. I still love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for showing us your picks at Cliff's Corner over there, Cliff. Uh, I got a new picks that we don't usually do. I figure that he should be a part of it. So I went to our heart of the store, our Mr. Steve, Steve Anthony, no, Aaron, no, no, no. Steve <laughs> Desario, Steve Desario. I, Anthony, I know that Anthony's dude, the blood. Saying, Anthony's the blood. We have pointers. We have choices for the heart of the store. <laughs> That's for, it's for the, the store bodega cat. I mean, we got we got the whole shebang at the store. And I thought, you know, him being an artist, cover artist for uh, comic books and stuff, I think people would want to know what his picks are. So I said, Steve, we need your picks. And we need That's them. Fine, now. guys. Uh, Steve Desario here. On my better days, I am actually a uh, published comic cover artist when I'm not slaving away for the man 24-7. Um, I put together some covers for us to take a look at. Real quick, though. Um Jim Lee has a spotlight with DC Comics right now. Um, I'm getting all of them. This one is really cool, though. They're kind of like convention sketches, but uh, Sinclair threw some colors on them and made them into covers. This guy, another one of my favorite artists, Lino Yu. I'm, I get everything that he does. He's mostly just doing covers right now, but he's the man. Lobos obviously goes without saying. Very heavily influenced from Adam Hughes, another one of my favorite artists. Pepe Laraz, anything this guy does, I am there. My good girl art, can't get away from it, love it. I'm always picking up the Vampirella and Elvira cosplay covers because I love them with all my heart. Um, and then I picked three just random covers this week that I really liked. One was a Moon Man variant um, done by Greg Tacchini. Very dope Italian artist. He did a book with Rick Remender called Low back in the day, which was super dope i suggest it if you haven't seen it this book is pretty cool um i heart skull crushers but this guy simone de mayo big fan of him very influenced by mateo scalera one of the reasons why i started looking for his art very cool cover um and then this one bill quest everly super dope she drew the supergirl for tomorrow run which is why I'm, it's like one of the only movies i'm, I'm kind of interested in with the new dc slate but i actually read this book um, and uh, I can't read it. Tom King wrote it. I'm looking forward to reading this one, but I just love her art. She's super dope as well. Um, and that's about it. Honorable mention, I guess, we have this Boss Logic Ultimate Black Panther this week. Also, a pretty cool Addy Granov cover. Two major uh, heavy hitters right now. And that's about it. Uh, check back in next time for some more cover artists. Or just artists in general and yeah thanks for stopping by that's our wonderful steve desario right there giving his little picks for the week excellent excellent see bizzle you are up next my friend okay so hey, they want they want to know your picks my friend so i didn't pick up my comic books this week because my lcs is having a big um uh, new comic book day sale so I'm trying to make my books pile up so I can get a great deal on, on all of them. I really appreciate you guys, Madness Comics Games. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got in the mail hall, what I picked up at Walmart. So we're going to start at Walmart first. So I picked these up purely for a giveaway. We have the Bindi Captain Falcon for Captain America Sam Wilson. Very nice. And I picked up a... Black Panther. These are going to be in my giveaway. So, it's not staying with me. Then, I was sitting there. I was um, walking through the aisle, and I saw this. And that, my personal advice for you guys. Download the Walmart app on your phone. 
take it with you and start scanning these action figures. So I walk through and I end up picking up this uh, Alan Scott uh, Funko Pop. This was at Walmart for 10 bucks. That's so it? That's crazy. That's 10 bucks. These normally go for like almost almost double that. So um, use that Walmart app. Trust me, you're not. it's not going to fail you. So I got this in the mail. I ordered off of eBay. I didn't get sniped this time. <laughs> so Clever. I got this. This is one of my favorite indie books by Jeff Lemire. This is Little Monsters number one. Nine eight. That was always a dope cover right there. Yeah. I have this I have this as a raw copy as well, but I had to get this. Uh I got it for less than what it cost to get it select. Now Cliff, I can't get mad at you. You know, you got you got the miles, you know. Miles cover looks gorgeous and everything, you know. I can't get mad at you because you know we, we're cool like that. I got this in a mail not too long ago. I love this cover. This cover is on my screensaver on my on my PC and on my is a lock screen on my cell phone. This is Spider Man number one, Michael oh, Bendis. Oh, oh, Cliff, you got I love this cover. <laughs> this is one of my favorite covers. I can't. I, can't you. I was gonna say I can't get mad when I own it. So like, it's on my <laughs> I kid you not. I got this for under thirty dollars. Yeah, I, dude, wow. it's the way to go. It's the way to go. Yeah. So, take uh, that's all I have for today. Appreciate I got appreciate you guys checking out what I got. Thank you, C. Bizzle. We appreciate you, and uh, you showing us your books as well. Let me get this banner around here. And Alan Scott was fantastic. I think I'm more I'm more jealous about the Alan Scott. <laughs> the Alan Scott. Mm. <laughs> but if they have if they, if I go up there this weekend, I see it. I get you one. Cool, they, had, cool. they, had, they had a couple of them. Uh, next up, it's a good buddy, Paul. Uh, Paul, aka the analyzer. Uh, he's uh, <laughs> he's our veteran at the shop, so we always got to get our uh, info and advice for him. So here goes uh, Paul's picks, everybody. It's me, peace. But I'm back. No slab today. I'll be back soon. My top five. I found this here, Teen Titans. Oh, Teen Titans number four. <clears throat> not the best but hell if you can get them get them wonder woman number eight the lobos cover the story's pretty good too you got to read the house of brainiac this thing is pretty good with lobos and his and his race from a planet it probably was uh brainiac probably had a, a group of them small and shit avengers twilight baby helena windhorn this is a sleeper. Almost like that Supergirl. This is a sleeper. You gotta read it. It's trying to cool. That's my top pick. Oh, it had to throw Nightwing 300 in there. And you gotta understand after this hit, it's, actually it's Nightwing 113, but the next five issues, I think they're gonna end the arc. But Ronaldo, Redondo is coming back. That artwork is smoking. But that's my top pick. All right, guys. Love you. Peace out. I got nothing smart to just say today. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm hurting. My old man hurt. But anyway, that's my top five. Slabs later. That's our good buddy Paul showing us his picks right there. Shout out to Paul. I would call him old Bill. school. That's how we would call him in our hood. Call him old school. Old, or OG. <laughs> he is our OG. <laughs> Phil, and he you're don't up, buddy. like it when we bring it up either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So my picks, like as you see, I got a brand new Batman Dracula. No. <laughs> but I just picked oh. this up. The Elseworlds from back see, in like the nineties. Red, what is it? Red. I, I see you went through Anthony's box up front. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I've been getting the Elseworlds off of Anthony's boxes up front and stuff, and all those like Batman thick books. Uh, also, Paul just mentioned it, Helen of Windhorn. Nice. Uh, I didn't read it yet, but I'm going to give it a shot. The uh, the Blown Away, the new book from Boom. Oh, you are giving it a shot. I am giving nice. it a shot. Um, 
giant size Hulk. I, I paid the seven bucks. Yes, I did too. you were yeah. right. <laughs> it's in my box um, waiting on me. You know, I think I'm the only council member reading this book, and it's a great book. So read it. It's Tinian or er, Tynan. Sorry, Tinian. Tynan. Um, it's about like UFOs and that type of stuff. So blue book. You know, course. I kind of want. I only read the first issue, and it really reminded me of a time in my life when my dad really into UFOs and stuff. And okay. I don't know why I just uh, I didn't go back to it. But like I remember every story in the first issue. I'm like, oh yeah, we had a book on this. Oh yeah, we watched the movie on this. Oops. I'll go yeah. back. I'm gonna get the trade. I'll get the trade. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Um, it took a while for it to come out. Batman off world number four. <laughs> it only, how long did it take for that book to show up? <laughs> yeah, it was on Key Collector for like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Council Key, Ultimate Black Panther, number three. Boom. Boom. Uh, yes. I didn't get the other, co- I got the regular cover A, but Wonder Woman issue number eight, because it's just oh, yeah. one of the fantastic things that DC is doing right now. Hell yeah, I, I forgot, to, I forgot Wonder Woman. Damn it, it's great. It's great. Okay, uh, another Council Key, I'm sure. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm missing, I got to pick up issue seven of this. Somehow I missed issue seven. Yes. This I'll is be Kill Your Darlings, issue number eight. So That's I'll last go back issue. issue seven. Last yep. issue. Definitely like, see, listen, the only other thing I have, and this one came out. And I read all three of these. You and I is huh. amazing. This takes place in something that's called the Resistance Universe. I want to go back and read about the Resistance Universe now that I've read the first three issues of You and I because it's hmm. fantastic. Like, don't sleep on this and good, good stuff. I was, I was amazed. So those picks i think for the week guys and excellent excellent thank you yeah, phil some great books some great books they there. are a little taste of phil's corner right there phil's phil's place sorry phil's, 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 phil's place <laughs> oh yeah look at canadian survival is liking you and i yeah it's uh mm-hmm. all right i'm gonna jump into my picks and then phil uh i'm gonna do anthony's picks after that so after we do Anthony's picks, we'll, we'll figure out who won this Dr. Spectrum versus Monica Rambeau. You guys out there got to pick in the comments who's going to win. Cliff with Dr. Spectrum. I think it's a, a, a unanimous decision. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I think we might have a winner then, by unanimous then, decision. <laughs> the winner of this battle will go on to the next battle of the other two. All right. Here's my picks real quick. And I read a lot of these. I had a lot of time today. Um... I'm not going to spoil a lot of them, though. Fall of the House of X, number four. Boom. All I can say is, how many times, Xavier? How many times must you betray? Fail. But He's fail. the worst X-Man. Betray, worst. fail, whatever you want to say about the man. Worst I'm, X-Man. Just, I'm done with him. Um, it, that's over. Worst Unless X-Man. he has another triple plot going on. Um, I also read this. <laughs> Spectacular Spider-Man. Um, Umberto Ramos is killing it with the art on this. It has Miles and Peter together. Um, is he doing the interiors as well? Yes, 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 he does the interiors as well. Oh, yeah. and, and it's just great. It's about Miles and Peter meeting up every week for like coffee and then things pop off yeah, after yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and as Cliff mentioned, Miles Morales, Spider Man number 19. Um, this should have been issue 300 because this was just insane. This issue, but Rabble has identified herself as a rogue and Miles' uh thing. This is just this is the end of the story arc, by the way. I'm not gonna spoil it. That's the end of that story arc. That's Ult- okay. She is setting herself up as uh, as his green goblin, yeah. Ultimate Black Panther number three. Also oh. read this amazing. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. It's amazing. Um, the Spider-Man and the Black Panther book from the Ultimate Universe are just... I didn't really... I read the last volume of Black Panther, not the newer volume. I really liked the last volume. I just couldn't keep up with the newer volume. But this is just 
the the introduction of Storm and Killmonger and how it all and another little secret thing that comes in. Got to pick that up. Um, regular Star Wars Mace Windu. This is okay. It's just a little Mace Windu story. Um, Cobra Commander, my friend. Oh my goodness. The Energon universe continues on. You know I read this. You know I read this. This is the best horror. If you like G.I. Joe, you like horror, read Cobra Commander. It is fire. Um, this was I got this the Star Wars The High Republic. Um uh Saber, what is it? Saber for Hire. This was pretty cool. This was pretty cool. It's just about a Jedi that gets caught up in the uh inclusion zone. Um and she's not a Jedi anymore. She just hunts monsters and stuff. But she gets hired by somebody who uh, needs her to go against people that are capturing Jedi Force-sensitive kids inside the inclusion zone. And she's forced to help out. And I'm going to put this banner up here because this is for Joey. Because I got to do... Joey judges Sam without Joey. I know. I'm, I still got you here, Joey. Still got you here in my heart. Because these are the books that Joey's going to judge me for. Ultimate Spider-Man number two, the third printing. He's going to judge me for it. He's going to say, what are you doing? Why are you buying it's, third printings and fourth printings? You shouldn't yeah, be doing that. Is that the Peach Momoko? Yeah. Well, that's that's nice nice cover, cover, though. You want, you, want some, you want some new shit. <laughs> that's, that's, I, I do like that cover, though. That's a very nice pretty, cover. Pretty, pretty I, I know, but does it scream, let me throw another $4 <laughs> on the fire? Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, here, here comes more. Here comes some more screams. We got it second, might, print, it might. second print black ultimate black panther number two. That Sam, what are you doing? I can hear you, Joey. I can hear I'm you. I'm a little more forgiving on the black box. panther. I can hear you yeah. from here, Joey. But look at that cover, Joey. Look at that cover. Oh, so tempted. Joey, um, the one in ten for ultimate black panther. He's screaming at me. What do you need the one in ten for? What do you need it? Why? All right, at least that's the one in ten. I, no, I almost picked it up myself. I thought about it. It was there in the box. So I was like, oh, it's only ten dollars. What's another ten dollars on the pile? And then that's not like <laughs> and he'll yell at me for this. The one I in twenty-five Cobra Co- the one in twenty-four. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cobra I saw Commander. it at my shop and I thought of you. Oh my goodness. Nemesis Enforcer. Uh, fetch Cobra Commander. <laughs> oh my goodness. Those are my picks, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope Joey's not as mad as he always gets. But that's Judge hey. Joey Judge and Sam without Joey. All Sam, right? do I see that Boss Logic uh, Black Panther in the corner there? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, that's that's... a little gorgeous. That's pretty too, right? Yeah. Very, very nice. I'm sorry. I'm with my, I'm of... I, just, I just find it amazing how Marvel puts their best artists on things that are their second line. Thanks. You know what I mean? Yep. Uh, one last picks to go. We got Anthony. He's the shop owner. We always talk about Anthony. I'm going to feature him a lot today. So uh, let me get over here. Let me stop this. And here's Anthony's little picks. Picks. I got Crisis on Infinite Earths. This is a reprint, of course, is the number one, but done up in foil. So George Perez artwork inside. Beautiful book. You know, I don't know. It's pretty... Uh, pretty interesting key i think right it's got everybody on the cover there done by george perez so yeah nice redo i like that and then the newest issue is superman he's fighting brainiac um and lobo but anyway here here's the foil cover that they did for that for this week so and uh this is an older book but here's wolverine number one they did in foil they're doing a lot of foils lately so i just wanted to pick out we do have a, a ton of other foils of course available here at the shop and uh this is one of the older ones that they've recently done so this is from 88 originally, and now we've got a cool foil version of it. And they also did the Frank Miller number one limited series um, in foil. So, I don't know, just some more stuff that's available here at the shop, and the fact that those were my picks for this week as well. All right, that's our good friend Anthony, owner of Alterniverse, showing those great, 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 great books. All right, Phil, yep. who has won... In the battle between Dr. Spectrum versus Monica Rambeau. Well, it wasn't unanimous. Dr. Yeah, Spectrum no. got one vote. One vote for Dr. <laughs> Spectrum. <laughs> and I counted 11 for Monica Rambo. <laughs> All right. So, see, Bizzle, you and Monica Rambeau get to move on to the next round. Phil, I mean, Cliff was humiliated. 
in this round, I hate to say. I don't Two, think so. It's not fair million. that, you know, he got to know who I picked. I told you. Know? you. You got it. I told you. What, what was I supposed to do? Sit here and go, ooh. It's like, it's like I'm going to choose Zeus. You know, let's try I will put barriers. I will put barriers in the future, but I just wanted to see how people, how you would uh, start off. Uh, in the that was beginning. that was a good that was a good hard pick because Doctor Spectrum is a very good uh, comic book hero. Yes, I was kind of hard to find somebody that had like cosmic comic, cosmic powers. It's time for the second round. It's time for super battle. Choose wisely. It's me and you, Phil. Okay. Cliff. Um, I don't know, flip a coin or put a number on uh, on your on, in your head and Phil, pick a number. Be t- Phil, pick a number five or six. I'll take six. Nope, Sam, you start. The number was oh. five. Okay. Sorry, Phil. But actually, I'm not sorry because second is obviously better. So you're welcome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how we can, <laughs> how we can twist this up here, <laughs> Phil. I'm doing Captain America with the Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, oh wow. Okay. I don't like this. I didn't get such options. <laughs> well, now, you see, now you see where it's going. Okay. Now you Captain see where it's America going. Now I see where it's going. Okay. Uh, hold on now. Let me think. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> see, Captain America with the Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, um, Okay, you know what? Captain America with the Infinity Gauntlet versus Iron Man with the Sentinel Buster armor. Oh, that's how we play this game. The Orcus Sentinel Buster armor. (laughs) Sentinel Buster armor. Don't mind if I spelled it wrong in there, guys. Uh, All right, so you guys out there put in the comments... As soon as it comes up, enter. Put in the comments who you think is going to win. Captain America. Iron Man already beat the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> and um, see, Bizzle, <laughs> if we could ask you to uh, count up those uh, hashtags or whatever they write in there for that. And uh, I'll get back to you later with that. All right. Next up, we're not stopping this. We're doing Daily Shakers. No, that's not Daily Shaker. That's him. All right, so there's 10 lines here. Uh, I'll go one by one for us. I'll start off with Phil. Phil, from this first line at the bottom, what what stands out for you here? We got Fantastic Four, number one, uh, Journey into Mystery, 83, um, Tales of Suspense featuring Captain America and Iron Man, 94, or Giant Size X-Men, number one, or Tales of Astonish, number 41. Uh, Fantastic Four One or Giant Size X Men? I would probably be my top two picks. Nice, Fantastic Four One uh, Raw GD sold for four thousand one hundred and ninety nine. Okay, and a Giant Size X Men graded eight point zero for three thousand four hundred and eighty. Do we think that's decent, or we think that's a lot for these books? What was the grading on on Giant Size X Men? Uh, eight point zero. Oh, that's excellent. That's yeah, excellent. that's a that that's probably uh yeah. what and what was Fantastic Four? Uh, a raw GD, good. Raw well, good, but it's raw. And what was the price? Four grand, forty two hundred, basically. Mm. For like a raw though, like you could read Fantastic Four one like this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if I would grade it. <laughs> I'd probably have it in like, hey, you want to read Fantastic Four number one? Put the gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> but for a very high grade X Men, uh, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. And what's All the right. journey into mystery? Uh, is that first door? door? Uh, is that first door. The journey into mystery is the first door. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. VG three thousand eight hundred eighty-eight. Cliff, you got the next row. You got Batman 11, Mask number one, 1945, Tales of Suspe- Suspense 50, Amazing Spider-Man 4, and Edge of Spider-Verse number two. 
It's the tough between the first Mandarin and the first Sandman, but I have a first Sandman because of the love of Spidey. So amazing number four. That's the greatest nice. seven point five for five thousand seven hundred three hundred dollars. That's Ooh. also pretty good. Was there anything? Uh, what's the Batman book? Was there anything special with it? No, no key on that one. Just a, uh, I guess, an early Joker cover. Okay. Uh, oh, and it's what's his number name? eleven it's though. Cover. It's you know a Starenko cover, am I right? It appears It'll to be, be. a Starenko cover. Yeah, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but suddenly. The Starenko covers are a little bit on the move. Yeah. I have seen such things. Um, oh, let's go down here. Uh, C. Bizzle, you got the next line. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Amazing Spider-Man 238, first Hobgoblin. Fantastic Four, 48. Uh, first Silver Surfer and Galactus, right? Or just Silver Surfer? I think it's for Silver Surfer and Galactus. Yeah. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 316, 9.9, .9, and uh, Tales of Suspense, Iron Man and Captain America, the origin of Captain America, and Amazing Spider-Man number 119 with the Hulk. I'm, I'm going with Fantastic Four because it's a double key. That's a monster key right there. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and an 8.0. That yeah. is not bad. No. That is no, not I bad. I have to go with that. Yeah. It's like getting would... close closer to the first appearance of uh Black Panther, so I'm going with that. Mm -hmm. All right. That makes Spider Man 9.9. That 9.9. I know. I'll be seeing that book everywhere, though. Yeah, but it's rare to see the 9.9. .9, so it does get a little, I give it a little credit for that. Yeah. I, more, are we going to see a lot of 9.9s getting into uh, into the game now? Since it's, um, it's all I think so. Flooding? I think so, but like, I don't know. I feel wishy-washy about it. Hmm. What um, what um, do y'all think that uh, the 9.8s are going to be diminished because of it? If they get too aggressive with the appearances of 9.9s, absolutely. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Next. But let's uh, see if this is a water test or or not. Yeah. Let's see what I pick from this next row. Frankenstein one or eighteen. That's weird. Um, Incredible Hulk one eighty one. Batman nineteen. Silver Surfer fifteen. Or Amazing Spider Man one twenty nine. So we got first Wolverine, first Punisher. Um, that Batman 19 is a 1943 book mm -hmm. that carries weight. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm taking out the Frankenstein one because I'm, I'm just not into that one. The Wolverine, of course, like, but it's a 5.0. What's the Punisher one? Uh, 8.0 mm. for 1680. Hmm. You know what? If it's a choice of spending sixteen eighty for that Punisher, or spending two grand for a seven point five nineteen forty three book, I think I'd get the Batman nineteen. Yeah. You know. Yep. Yeah, I think I'd go with that. Uh, the biggest shaker of the day was Batman eleven. By the way. Hmm. Uh, Six point five graded went for twelve thousand dollars. Twelve thousand dollars. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um. But that okay. So nine point fours of that book is going for like sixty five grand. Oh my god. But that was from twenty sixteen. Raws yeah, are about cool, six grand. That's from like a year ago. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. All right. You know, on New Comic Book Day, we always do the hashtag thing, right? Well, I didn't forget to do it this time. 
No, I did not forget to do this time. I was at the shop, and guess who else was at the shop? Eddie was at the shop. So Eddie was going to help me with the hashtag. Council Comics. What's up, guys? Eddie, thank you for uh, being part of this. It's the hashtag portion of the show, which means the audience gets a chance to put a hashtag in the comments in order to win a duck for the monthly prize that we give away on Monday. But you get to pick the hashtag. So it's going to be a hashtag and like a question. Like hashtag um, best superhero or hashtag favorite food or fe- hashtag. Oh, and you get to pick it and then they are going to put it in the comments. Okay. And whoever does it, Cliff puts them in a spin cycle and one of them wins a duck. So what do you think? Okay, hash Karen, hashtag Karen. Hashtag what? What is your favorite fast car? Hashtag favorite fast car. All right, so you guys out there, you do hashtag favorite fast car. But you don't put favorite fast car, you put your answer, like hashtag Honda, hashtag whatever. All right? Put that in the oh. comments below. Cliff will take care of the rest. Don't worry about that. All awesome. right? Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate <laughs> that. Well, you heard that, Cliff? It. You got to take care of the rest. <laughs> yeah, a, big, a big problem here. Okay, so everybody, this is the trick. You got to leave that comment after the live show has broadcast. So come back and leave your comments for this. Favorite fast car. Yeah, what would you guys think? I think like the McLaren P1. Uh, I would go with that. That's a very nice car. It I don't really know nice what the fastest car. car is. What is the fastest it car what the in the fastest world? Car is. What is your know, favorite like, fast car? Yeah, it's just like, yeah, these are... Uh, I don't know. Like, like a more normal car, I would say like a Jaguar. Like a Jaguar is a really nice yeah. car. <laughs> like, Jaguar? Yeah. You got a regular Jaguar. fast car, and you got those supercars. Yeah, the McLaren, the, yeah, the P1, the McLaren, that's like a supercar. That's like. Yeah. Jaguars are nice. Yes. Lotus. Yeah, the Lotus. See, Bizzle. That's another good one. See, Do we have a count on Amer- Captain America with the Infinity Gauntlet versus Iron Man with Sentinel Buster Armor? So we got a total of 10 votes. Captain America, 8. Iron Man 2. Oh! Captain America has taken. Okay, okay. So, you know what we're going to do here, right? We're going to do... What's that? Uh, what's it? It's me against C. Bizzle. Bizzle. Nope. Uh-huh. All right, C. Bizzle. Now we're going to okay. put some boundaries down. Okay. Uh... Phil, pick a number so you can see which one of us goes first. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess uh, uh, Sam, pick a number. Seven or eight? Seven? Bizzle, it's eight. All right. We're doing grounded characters, see, Bizzle. These are characters who have no superpowers. No superpowers. No superpowers. No superpowers. Okay. Who will be your warrior? Do these people with no superpowers, do they get weapons? Oh, yeah. The only boundary is no superpowers. Oh, okay. 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 Batman. Oh, here we go. (laughs) With the ultimate nullifier. Batman with the ultimate nullifier. He's crossing universes, ladies and gentlemen. Batman just won this battle. I was gonna, like I was going to say, like I almost was ready for like Batman with money. <laughs> <laughs> he I broke come, right now, so I gotta yeah, yeah, he's broke one. right now. I got to come good with this one. Um. Uh, I'm gonna go Snake Eyes with oh my goodness Snake Eyes with I'm gonna go the Cosmic Cube mm-hmm. mm, that's a good one all right. Leave in the comments, ladies and gentlemen, who you think is going to win this. 
That's a battle right there. Oh, Batman with Ultimate Nullifier versus Snake Eyes with the Cosmic Cube. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I should have said I should have made Batman's weapon his uh prep time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to a little council conversation for a little bit. Um there's a subject that came up and uh, I want to talk about it. DC Comics is doing their ultimate line and they're calling it Absolute DC. Um, here's a, a little uh, thing here. Um, Snyder, uh, at DC Comics being spearheaded by Scott Snyder, one that has been compared to Marvel Comics Ultimate line that reimagined a number of main characters in a new continuity, recreating them from the ground up. Marvel has also revisited the concept this year with a new Ultimate line that has topped the sales in comic book stores and gone to multiple printings. But what Scott Snyder has been working on with a number of major comic book creators has been in the works for longer. And we have a name for it. Absolute Comics or just Absolute. Okay. Um, before I read a little more, let's get some first thoughts on this. I know Cliff's got a lot to say about this. Do I? I don't. It's yeah. fun. I'm, go, I'm like, go for, you know what? It's Scott Snyder. So it's nice to see like the Scott Snyder DC universe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it going to sell? Do you think it's going to sell like Ultimate Line? If it's, if it's good. good. Yeah, if it's good. Yeah. That's the premise. That's one thing everybody keeps missing. The fact is, wondering why Ultimate Spider Man and Ultimate Black Panther is selling as well as they have is because it's actually, the storyline is actually really good. Yeah. Like, and even the ultimate, like that ultimate universe four issue set yeah. with the maker and stuff, that was yeah. really good. And it set up this yeah. whole like thing. I think Marvel not was out... oh, go ahead. smart to do it too. Yeah. And I'm not leaving um... out Ultimate X-Men. Ultimate X-Men is just something that's unique in its own way. And huh. and I like that one book too. I think mm -hmm. uh, I think it's good for DC. It Overall, depends on I think... the credit of units. Um, a little more from this article. It says, Bleeding Cool understands, however, rather than some single central creator-focused line or something with a major editorial driver, such as Dan Dito's New 52 or Jeff Johns' DC Rebirth, this is intended to be more of a hands-off affair on Snyder's part, with the creators being given more of a carte blanche to achieve results. Closer to the all-star lineup, I was going to mention that, uh, with major A-list creators on board, also, rather than something separated from the main line like All-Star, the Ultimate Universe, or even Jim Shooter's new universe back in the day, this will be something published in conjunction with the main line, part of a larger initiative that aims to spotlight DC's entire lineup. But there will not be a reboot or even a relaunch of the main line that will remain intact and continuity, along with many creative teams, will continue on. That's something different than what we've heard. We've heard that they were probably going to reboot the DC line. Now they're saying that it's not going to happen. Um, because the other name I've heard of have heard of which Absolute Comics is a part is DC All In. The broader initiative Snyder and other creators have been working on. Make of that what you will. This is most definitely being seen as an attempt to do New 52 right alongside a DC Rebirth where with a more holistic approach. That the team on DC All In are aiming to give fans something bold while leaving alone what's already working and i expect to hear more a lot more at san diego comic-con this year um i have a question yeah is this universe going to be the new 52 universe no okay it's gonna be better for what they say <laughs> gotcha oh they uh, always say that <laughs> okay <laughs> when they mentioned the all-star line i was like okay like all-star line was okay and didn't blow up to the extent that uh when marvel like the, put out the first uh, the all-star batman there again you know that that's the, the trouble with dc is you're going to get to get certain amount of books each week and you're gonna like for dc you're gonna get like the batmans and the supermans first yeah yeah but the all-star no, batman i enjoyed a lot yeah that all-star batman was jim lee yeah, <laughs> let's. Okay, the arc was Jim Lee. Yeah, a Frank Miller. The horror was the show was Frank Miller. 
<laughs> but we don't, we don't know the creators yet, correct? No, but we know that this is spearheaded by Scott Snyder. Yeah. Hmm. So that's okay. He's going to be um, a back. <laughs> oh, there's some free comic book stay and stuff today. Yeah, yeah, they're doing free comic book stuff. Absolute power. That's the thing that they got a they got an event called Absolute Power coming out, and then they're gonna name the line Absolute. So, right. and then we're getting uh, absolute editions of books like Absolute Batman Son. This is so stupid that they're so on board with this freaking word. Yeah. You know? Like I get. Oh, I don't want to be so. I don't want to be so negative, but like. Like, if the books are going to be called Absolute, then why do you got to make everything else Absolute? Like, this is so stupid, you know? We got Marvel hmm. Essentials, and we've got Marvel whatever the hell they call the other thing that's hardcover, you know? Like, what? We can't have DC Essentials? And, like, no, it's got to be Absolute. Ugh. Yeah. Like, just disg- I, like, I'm not, I, I could be fine with that. I could have a good time. I'm just so disgusted with their decisions. With the name, with the actual name of the universe instead of just coming up with something... Yeah, uniquely different just, than what they just put come up with a good fit, you know. And they're so yeah. wishy washy, and you know they need other people who have half a brain to get them in line with the things they should be doing. Like for ages, they stopped using Elseworlds for no reason. What the hell would they stop using Elseworlds for? But then James Gunn steps into the picture and says how he's going to utilize Elseworlds, right? So we could differentiate the types of movies we're seeing. And now we got Elseworlds coming out back to back. Yep. Anyhow, I'm sorry. I'm nauseous with it. I'm, I'm no. just interested. They're strangling, on, they're strangling me. I'm just interested on who's the creators of these books are going to be. Um, hopefully, talented people. people. I'm hopefully, yeah. you know, because I'm scared. <laughs> this, this I hope Dan Mora. I hope guys like Dan Mora or somebody like that. This line just worries me. This is intended to be more of a hands off affair on Snyder's part. With creators being given more of a car launch to receive, uh, to achieve results, I think the reason why Marvel is successful—one of the reasons, not the main reason—but one of the reasons why they're successful is when they do a line like this, it's all connected. Yeah. And there's, you know, it, you feel part of a universe. Is this going to be like four different books that are like four different universes? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Are they going to have some kind of connection? Um. I imagine some kind of connection. And, and uh, for a couple of people in the chat, I do agree that this is just their version of the ultimate universe. Yeah. It's just what what um, Cliff is saying is they already have books with that name on it, and it could be confusing to readers when they go to the store. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, well, that's the absolute from DC Comics. Uh, real quick, I want to go over some... Uh, what we got here? Wait, 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 wait. Is this? Did I do it wrong? Movers. It's got Move some movers. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just go through them real quick. Um, the yeah, X Men Two Hundred, Symbiote Spider Man Twenty Ninety Nine. Uh, that is actually Francisco a really Mobley good book, one. by the way. I like Symbiote Spider Man Twenty Ninety Nine. Yeah. Okay. X Men Three Hundred. Um, the first appearance of the Legacy Virus. Star yeah. Wars One. Um, 1977, Edge of Spider Verse number one, the A cover. That was a creepy book. Yeah, Moon Knight getting some love. Alien Worlds, Tom McFarlane Spider Man volume number one, the A cover. <laughs> um, Casper Wingard's one in twenty five for Transformers seven. Uh, the Sarah Pacelli third print for Ultimate Spider Man number one. Uh, Wolverine number one, Alien Worlds number two, uh, the silver cover for Todd McFarlane's Spider Man, um, mm. Uncanny X Men number 168, uh, Transformers number four, the A cover from Daniel Warren Johnson and Mike Spicer, Transformers blowing up, and then number one blowing up, that's the A cover, uh, X Men four, first appearance of Omega Red. Uh, Spider Man 2099. Uh, what if number 37? First appearance of Shalabal as a herald. Uh, number seven, the Karen, uh, Transformer 7, the Karen 
Darbo one in ten. Mm-hmm. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Um, Geiger, uh, number one, the eighty page giant. X Men okay. Adventure number one, getting some love because of X Men ninety seven new mm-hmm. episode debut today. Amazing Spider Man annual number one. I wonder why that's blowing up. I haven't looked that up. I have that book. Especially from 2014. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder why that is. Uh, Uncanny X-Men 221 for Sinister. The Arthur Adams, uh, Incredible Hulk 11, 1 in 25. Um, Greg Land, 1 in 25 for Amazing Spider-Man 47. The Amazing Spider-Man 300. Todd McFarlane. Evangeline. Uh, 1995. <laughs> uh, the Batman First Night number one, Mike Perkins, cover A. Excellent. Venom number one, a foil cover. Very hard to get that book in a very high grade with that foil yeah, cover for have, Venom. I don't have a good very copy hard. of that. Um, the Phil Noto Ultimate X-Men number two, one in 25. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 329, uh, first appearance of the Tri-Sentinel. Um Marvel Superhero Secret Wars Volume 1, Number 8, First Appearance of the Symbiote, uh, Ultimate Black Panther, the A cover, Ultimate X-Men, the A cover, Peach Momoko. Um, then we hit the big heavy hitters, Wolverine 1, the first ongoing series, Uncanny X-Men 227, um, the first cameo of Gambit, X-Men Annual First 14, appearance of this? Gambit. He's on nine pages. <laughs> and he's got lines in every page. Why is that other X-Men book up there? That is the first... Um, is the first adversary, I believe. Oh, okay. I think it's first adversary. No, I, yeah. I, can't, I think that's when Storm just gets her powers back. Oh. No, that wouldn't be... I don't, let's see. Let's look it up. Let's hit the button. First full appearance of the, the adversary. Oh, it is the adversary. All right. Well, okay. Yeah. I should have yeah. uh, said that like all everything was going to be spec from X Men ninety seven when we you oh, had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have changed my everything. <laughs> Just everything is going to become spec. <laughs> um. Silver Surfer Spawn One, Todd McFarlane, forever on there, bro. Uh, Dazzler number one, New X Men 114, first Cassandra Nova, uh, first Ultimate Spider Man number one, cover A, uh, Ultimate X Men 2, Peace from Oakland 1 and 10, first appearance slash cameo of Gambit, Uncanny X Men 266, and the top five, um, X Men 24, blowing up, ladies and gentlemen. Blowing I up, just, you can surely find that I in a dollar bin somewhere. Very nice. Uh, Earth X 12, uh, Last Ronin. Of course, they got it working on a movie for that. Um, Uncanny X Men 333. Huh, hmm. this is a new one, is definitely in a dollar bin somewhere. Yeah, it is. First appearance of Bastion. Really? Oh. oh. What, what, what issue is that? 333? Three, three, three. I... Three, three. I think I have it. I think I got it out of the dollar, man. And number one, Cliff, how you called it. Yep. Oh, yep. my goodness. He the called book it. I said was the worst read for me last week is the number one mover this week. Wow. Rat City. Rat City, Rat City. You can't you can't mess around when Just it comes to know. a whole new. Jeez. I got it, but yeah. That's the movers, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's the movers. All right. I got one more quick video from Anthony. He made a little purchase. Um he got some graded books. But he's got the whole set. Always getting new stuff here at the shop. Here's some CGCs that have come in. These are the um, What If covers for Disney 100. So it's 100 Years of Disney. Here's Amazing Spider-Man 17. Uh, here's them as the Fantastic Four. The Disney characters of the Fantastic Four. This is Amazing Spider-Man 19. These are all CGC 9.8s. They're all available at the store now. This is Amazing Spider-Man 21. Incredible Hulk. 
Uh, we got Amazing Spider-Man 27. Uh, Mickey as Iron Man. Redo of that 80 grand off cover. We've got Minnie as Captain Marvel on Amazing Spider-Man 29. We've got Amazing Spider-Man 32. Gwen Stacy. Mm. Daisy Duck is Gwen. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 37 is... 100 Years of Wonder. The Infinity Gauntlet. That's I like this one. one. This is Amazing Spider-Man 23. <laughs> yeah, this is the best one, right? <laughs> and then the X-Men cover, the Jim Lee oh, very little redo. Yep, Amazing Spider-Man 39. So anyway, this is just a collection of the what-ifs uh, for Disney 100. Just wanted to show them off. We have the regular books available, and then we have some 9.8s and the 1 in 100s. I have 1 in 100s that are also 9.8. I have a bunch of these. So they're available at the shop. Something new that came in. Thanks. Nice. That was pretty dope. Yeah. yeah pretty, fun. pretty, pretty dope. I liked it. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, Phil, have you been taking a tally of uh, our super battle? I am looking at it now, and I know who won. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I think I got Snake Eyes. Ho, I ho! I won. Yeah. <laughs> My six to, I got six to five. Uh, Batman, Snake Eyes. <laughs> Amazing. So, nice. Snake Eyes, baby. The Arashikagi. Snake Eyes. Never sleep on the Arashikagi. <laughs> <laughs> it was very close. That battle was close. <laughs> it was cool because uh, when I worked today, two kids walked by and they were arguing about, no, man, Batman can't beat Spider-Man. No, no, Spider-Man can't beat Batman. Like, they asked me, like, roll on, what is it? I was like, Batman doesn't lose, bro. <laughs> Man, I was like, he, the, I think Batman can beat Spider Man. I mean, if Spider Man catches him with one, one blow, then it's a wrap. Um, but yeah. All right. We're winding down the show. I put a secret hashtag in them comments, and y'all looked and y'all paid attention. Very, very nice. I'm gonna show you what we're starting off the problem. I'm gonna spin after after we get the thing. I'm gonna show you uh, what's starting off. I'm gonna to add to it every week. All right. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Who's gonna win a duck, my friend? Who's gonna win a duck for a new prize on New Comic Book Day? Live? Oh my god, wait, I'm accidentally got myself in there. Eric right. Martinez! <laughs> Very good, Eric Martinez. Right. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna show you what we're starting off with here. I got. Uh, So I'm starting it off with a Venom Mike Diodato. Venom number. Venom number three. And a Wolverine number 50. Mm -hmm. The die cut. Yes, yes. Very, very important issue Wolverine. And an Avengers Twilight number one. It's a hot book right now. Out of fifteen to twenty dollar book, very very nice. I'm gonna add it's on to first that. printing. First printing, baby. First printing. Ooh, oh my! Eric Martinez, you're in the first runner for that. So next week, guys, you tune in, and I'll throw another secret hashtag in there, and then we'll get another one, and then we'll have a uh, at the end of. Uh, we'll do it at the end of the month. No, it's too short. All right. Excellent. Do I have anything else, you guys? Does anybody have anything else they would like to say before we leave this lovely audience? I love our lovely audience. Yeah. Rem remember, the hashtag from Eddie is hashtag favorite fast car. When the live stream is over, put your hashtag in there. And Cliff will uh, go check that out. Some of them did it during the stream, and I'm like, all right, fine, I caught you. Oh, he's being nice, guys. He loves you guys. He's so, he's so nice. And and I ba I rebagged my Silver Age books that came in Golden Age uh, stuff, so I just feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very nice, very nice. 
All right, let's give a shout out to everybody that was in the building tonight. But first, Anthony wants to give a shout out. So 94, the Council of Comics. And if you haven't, please remember to like and subscribe down below. And we'll see everybody on New Comic Book Day. And I uh, look forward to seeing everybody on uh, May 4th for Alternacon. So that's the next big event we've got coming for comics. And we'll see you all there. Everyone, bye. Excellent, Anthony. We love you very much. Las Cruces was in the house tonight. Thank you for joining us, Las Cruces. J. Margolis was in the house. Thank you. Phil, Phil Treehouse was in the house tonight. Thank you for joining us. Dale of Suspense was in the house. Thank you for being here. Aggressively relaxing. Came to join us. Thank you for being here tonight. Uh, Big L. Larry Jackson was in the house. Thank you. K-Pop Junkie was in the house. Thank you for joining us. Dr. Von Hoots Comics from the Spiral Dimension. Thank you for joining us tonight. Canadian Survivalist is in the house. Thank you for joining us tonight. John's Comics Kids was in the house. Thank you for joining us. Tate Prime was in the house. Thank you for joining us tonight. Edwin Pabon was in the house. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, Legion of Comics is in the house. Thank you for joining us tonight. Mark. Uh, Old Wolf 65 was in the house. Thank you for joining us tonight. As we go down. Circumstances was in the house. Thank you for joining us tonight. Eric Martinez, you duck winner. You, thank you for joining us tonight. Entropy and Comics was in the house tonight. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Meet Wad number one was in the house. Thank you for joining us. Two Real Entertainment joins us tonight. Thank you for joining us. Uh, w Vogs 18 is in the house. Thank you for joining us tonight. Wow. Harry Comics came to join us. Thank you for joining us tonight. Oh, oh. Kamaria was in the house. Thank you for joining us, Kamaria. Tyler Pugh is in the house. Pugh? How you say Pugh? Tyler Pugh? I'm sorry, we'll say Pugh. Tyler P. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Oh, so many people came to join us tonight. So, so nice. 23 March came to join us tonight. Thank you, thank you. Big Lion Cat 646 came to join us tonight. Thank Patrick. you very much. DBS and Chill came to join us tonight. Thank you for joining us. And I believe that's it, gentlemen. Those are all. Oh, wait. Metal Dope Live is in the house. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Well, that was our first new comic book day live, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. We'll be doing this for a little bit. Uh, we'll eventually get back to the other way, but we're going to have fun with this. Let's see how it goes. We'll add new things in and all that. And it's just, you know, comic book shop talk through comic book day as always. Please make sure you have liked and subscribed uh, for the rest of the week. You can check us out on Sunday at 5 p.m., 2 p.m. Pacific, where we'll be starting Unbreakable. This is Cliff's trilogy that we're going to start nice. and review Sunday at 5 p.m. PM Pacific from Box Office News, and then Monday at 8 p.m. for New Keys and Hot Comics of the Week, where we got one more week, and then the next week we'll do the monthly drawing. But tune in for our monthly drawing for you to get a chance to win a duck at a prize that's worth over $300. Worth over $300, my friends. You got to tune in Monday night at 8 p.m. so you can be a part of that. And then join us next week for a new Comic Book Day Live number 95, five away from the big 100. So, for myself, for Phil, for Steve Bizzle, for Green Shirt Guy, for Cliff, for Anthony, for Steve, for Paul, and the rest of the Council of Comics, love you, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Peace. Black is like the brightest day. Where are the heroes?